In this lesson, we're going to practice determining the equation of a cos graph. So we know that a normal cos graph, and this should become, you should know this backwards eventually, a cos graph starts at 1 and then it goes down and up like that, whereas a sin graph starts at 0 and then goes like that. Okay, so we're going to look at this cos graph, which we know usually goes between 1 and minus 1. If we look at this cos graph, it's going between 2 and 0. So what we're going to do now is the following. We're going to list the lowest and the highest. Okay, so for the pink graph, which is the new one, its lowest value is 0 and its highest value is 2. For an original cos graph, its lowest value is minus 1 and its highest value is 1. So what have they done to get from minus 1 to 0? Well, you add 1. And what do you do when, to get from 1 to 2? Well, you add 1. So this pink graph is a cos graph that has simply been moved up by one unit. And so this is the equation of that graph. So let's take a look at the domain, range, amplitude, and period. I keep mentioning these because they do ask this a lot in tests. So the domain is the x values, and so you just look to the left, which is minus 360, and to the right, which is positive 360. Then you can just say xe minus 360 up to positive 360. The range is the y value, so you say ye. The lowest value is 0 and the highest value is 2, so we can go from 0 up to 2. The amplitude, so you need to find the resting position, which in this case will be over here. And so that position has a y value of 1, and so if you go up to the highest value, which is 2, then from 1 to 2, well that's only 1. And then the period for a sin and a cos graph is always 360 degrees. Next year that could change possibly, but in grade 10 it'll be 360 degrees. Okay, so here's another cos graph. So what we know is that a normal cos graph always starts at 1 and then goes down to minus 1. So let's do another lowest and highest table. So for a normal cos graph, it's the lowest is minus 1 and the highest value is 1. For this one in pink, its lowest value is minus 3 and its highest value is minus 1. So how do you get from the normal one to the pink one? Well, that's minus 2. And how do you get from there to there? Well, that's also minus 2. So clearly, this pink graph has been moved two units down. So the equation of it is going to be cos x minus 2. So the domain will be from minus 360 up to 360. So we just say x is an element of minus 360 up to 360. The range is the y value, so the lowest value is minus 3, and the highest value is minus 1. The amplitude, so we need to know the resting position, because it's always from the resting position. Okay, so the resting position is at minus 2, and if you go from minus 2 to the highest point, which is here at minus 1, so from minus 2 to minus 1, how far is that? Well, that's only 1. So the amplitude of this one is going to be 1. I know it looks like all of our amplitudes are 1. That will change in future videos. Then the period for a sin and cos graph is always 360 degrees. 